Hey guys, it's Elena with The Organized Money and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another budget with me. We are budgeting the week of February 4th through the 10th and this week I'm going to be using one of my own sticker kits. Um, I decided to start making my own budget sticker sets because they just make it way more easier for me to plan out my um, entire week when it comes down to my money because not many people use the happy planner um, in order to budget their money i think everybody's using erin condren nowadays but i really like the happy planner so i'm going to stick with it and i made my own sticker sets if you're interested in these sticker sets then there will be a link in the description box it is to my etsy shop because i do sell them um, and i'm going to start selling them by the actual uh, month so any sticker sets that i create for the month of february will be within a particular set that you can buy them all together or you can buy them individually it's up to you so this is the set that we're using today. It's the pink or blue set. This one was kind of meant to either be a Valentine's or uh, kind of like a gender reveal set. Kind of doesn't matter. But uh, I have budget stickers. I have savings, income, expenses, sinking funds, cash envelopes, upcoming, debt reduction, no spend, and to do. And then I have some little icons on this side and some boxes. And then of course my budget sticker dots that I absolutely love to use. So let's go ahead and start planning out this week. Okay, so here is my budget setup for the first week of February. I have listed out all of the expenses that I would hope to get to. Um, however, I am not sure we're going to be able to get to all of these. As I've told you before, usually our income comes in on a Tuesday. I kind of set up our budget on a Monday. Um, I am expected about 2,500 this particular week. So I've already set up that we're gonna tithe out this week. I've kind of left out savings blank. I'm expecting to save 100, but I'm hoping that I can save 100, put 50 towards sinking funds, put 20 toward acorns so all together we're looking at saving about 170 um, and then I also have another 50 which goes into our partner program if you haven't seen the video where I talk about the partner program and how we save money using this system I will link it above so that you can um, check that out also so this is basically the full setup. I also have my cash envelopes here. We're expecting to take out 200 for cash envelopes, which 100 will go toward food, 70 toward the kids, um, as far as their hair expense and their activity for the weekend, and 30 on miscellaneous spending. 
Um, and as the days kind of go on, I will jot down different things as they happen. That's the best way that this system kind of works out for me. And then at the end of the week, this is kind of where I do my summary. Like I have a savings here of what I'm expected to save, what I have set aside. But then if anything additional comes up between these couple of days, that, that number may change. I may realize that I might not be able to save that particular amount because an expense came up that I had not expected and I had to pull from this number. So I like to know at the end of the week, what was the amount that I actually ended up saving, how much debt was reduced and how much money went into my sinking funds. Also, after I uh, spent out the money of my cash envelopes, then I will jot down here how we did on our cash envelopes to ensure that we did not have to go back to the ATM and pull out any additional money and the rest is basically set up for bills and other expenses as they come up. I hope that this system makes sense to you. I also have my upcoming bills in this section here to let me stay on top of anything that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I think that's it. I hope this makes sense to you if it doesn't or you have any questions make sure that you leave them in the comments below i would love to talk with you and talk you through my thinking system of this process that's it guys i will see you in the next video don't forget to follow me on instagram at the organized money and continue to organize your life so that you can achieve your dreams until next time bye